a local high school is celebrating its history with a showcase highlighting the historic past of the school. Tell us more. We're joined by Julissa Ortiz. Hello, who? Hello, good morning to you. Yes, Roseville High School, and I gave you a little taste of the drum line just a moment ago because you know I love me a drum line, right? Great way to get you pumped up in the morning, especially on a rainy day. But the other cool thing about being here this morning is this awesome new museum project that they have just finished up. Take a look. This is the administration building here at oh, Roseville High nice. School, and really, you spend a few minutes in here and you get a full this is like a time capsule you can literally learn all about this high school what it's named after the forefathers and, and mothers of course all the history this is so fantastic we're celebrating 111 years y'all look fantastic let me just tell you i've got mrs hodge and mrs granucci with us this morning good morning to you good morning oh my gosh i can tell just how how proud you are of this project y'all are glowing about it but you guys have been working on it for about a year you said uh since september of last Last year. last year and really what was the whole idea behind this why you wanted to to bring this together you know education has been taking a beating you yeah. know and um, we needed some positivity and a yeah. mind shift and it just kind of just something to get people excited to come to school mm -hmm. but also we're losing a lot of our storytellers and yeah. so we really needed to kind of put something up so the kids and the staff you know, would learn about the history and the culture mm -hmm. and just those deep rooted traditions that Roseville has. It's it's just amazing. Wow. Just and, the whole and story. And when you say deep, they mean deep. Yeah. It starts in 1912. There you can kind of see it. So Mrs. Hudge, you can tell us this is the timeline yeah. so far. Yeah. So um, the school started over a saloon. So that's oh, the saloon. Over a saloon? Yeah. That's oh my goodness. And hilarious. And then moved to the Doris Theater. And then actually that's the opening day of the actual building that used to be here wow. in 1916. So it goes from that. It shows all of our um, sports, girls, sports. Yeah. It shows all of our military, you know, all the way through to where the buildings were built by the kids that went here wow. back in the day. And so it just goes all the way around. And we're trying to have our future yeah. and have our kids our kids here be the future. I love yeah. it. Come up with ideas. You've got some really fun pieces as well here. In fact, the very first yearbook right here, you can kind of see the tattered pages there, right? Um, you also, I love, you know, I'm a scrapbooker. You know, I'm a crafty one. So, of course, I had to look at the shadow boxes. This is so cool. These are yes. the shadow boxes you all put together. Yes. Um, this one in particular with our military, um, we lost um, a lot of our students to go to war um, and uh, some of them didn't graduate um, and they were given honorary diplomas um, but we do have a list of uh, some of our young men and women who actually served back in in those times a lot of our students actually were brought here by military surplus buses and so the military history the sport history um, Cigna's grandfather is Rolf Moeller up here who the, our gym's named after wow. so just a lot of legends that yeah. come through we have a dance ticket over there from 1914 oh yes yeah, we need incredible. to mention the owl. You guys just found this. Uh, yeah, it's been hidden away. Um, <laughs> so this owl was on top of the 1916 building, um, and it represented wisdom and intellect. But we also had crops in front of the school with our agriculture classes. So it kind of, the stories are it, it scared away the birds ah. that attacked the crops and stuff. But it went missing after a rebuild, and then, gosh, I think it was the early 2000s, it showed its head, and we <laughs> found it. it. <laughs> yeah, and now it is spotlighted right here in the museum project. Yeah. This is so cool, and this is just a little snippet, you guys. They've got much more to show us, so we're going to take you down the hallway. But the ultimate goal is to make the whole mu the whole school somewhat a, a, a museum project. Oh, and, cool. and you have a special event later on tonight for everyone? We do. We um, are opening up for the graphics. Um, Tony Palmer and Palmer Science helped us with this, and so his crew is going to be here to kind of go over this, but we've been, it's, it's a public viewing, so yeah. everybody's invited to come. It's also also a fundraiser for Next Stage, which is the uh, Julie Estridge Library. And we're going to show you more of that and how you can get involved. Pretty cool. And all the students, of course, honoring uh, one of the faculty members as well. So we'll show you that. Very, very cool. Can I get a little something from the from the band before we go? They're taking a moment. All right. We'll have more coming up from them. Roseville High School this morning. If you would like to come check it out, you can. All that info on our website, goodysacramento.com. Back over to you. Fantastic. 11, they still look good. That's right.